welcome individually living here for Post the Quest podcast with our first side quest, a review of FLCL Grunge, which just debuted last night at midnight on Adult Swim. So, how is this season three, or fourth rather, fourth season of FLCL uh, compared to the original and the two prior seasons, FLCL Alternative and Progressive. Well, in short, FLCL Grunge falls into the trap of once again trying to retread old ground. It's not clear as to why they continue to want to retell the original as opposed to just telling a new fully coolie story. But once again, we are basically back at what was uh, continued in Progressive, which seemed to be somewhat of a continuation of the original, whereas Alternative was like an alternative telling of the original. Now we are into another alternative telling of the original, uh, where key characters are back from the original, but not entirely in their same characters, it seems. And we have a new protag in Shin. Um, it's the biggest uh, change here, I suppose, is the animation style. The animation style now being 3D animation. Now, for whatever reason, studios believe that going towards 3D animation is the future of anime. I believe the majority of us anime fans would disagree. However, um, the, anim the animation here isn't bad. It's not as egregious as something like uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, so, you know, hopefully actually animate in 30 frames per second and it'll still look smooth. But it still has a little way to go. Um, interestingly, while there's more detail in the overall scenes, there seems to be less detail in some of the character designs, but uh, that might just be subjective. And this being FLCO, there is the distinct possibility that next week's episode is co a completely different art style. We know that happened in Progressive, and when it changed, it actually does change the entire feel of the show, so let's hope for that. But uh, in terms of story, uh, this is very much a mix retelling of FLCL Episodes 1, which is Furikuli, um, also a mix of FLCL Climax, episode 6 of the original, and somewhat of the ending of FLCL Alternative, as there are mixed elements of the original and alternative that are here. Um, people are leaving the Earth on rockets, which is pulled directly from Alternative, um, but for some reason uh, there are now... Um, Kind of a, uh, I'm surprised Marvel didn't come knocking with the Rockians, uh, the a new race it seems of being that's just normal on planet Earth who look like the thing from Marvel. Um, for some reason they're there, uh, but Amaral is here from the original with his fake eyebrows, but doesn't seem to be acting in his same character. Haruko is here, um, somewhat in character. <laughs> Which is interesting, but uh, still not entirely in character. But somehow, somehow things are just happening. Now, of course, this is FLCL, so there's not much to go on in terms of story, at least not discernibly yet. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the episodes bring, which in hindsight might make this episode way more important. But for now, it's as irreverent as ever, and we'll wait to see. But... Uh, I, I have lowered expectations, given that, once again, we are retreading old FLCL ground, and we don't seem to be telling a new FLCL story, but rather continuing to build on what's already been told, which then makes the previous FLCL season's required viewing to understand this. Not sure where they're going with this, but we'll see. Hopefully, they can turn this around. They have four or five more episodes to go, I believe. So, thanks for joining us for this little side quest. We'll catch you back at the quest board.